Let's start with you, Aries. Greetings, Aries. Welcome to your horoscope. Time for you to be a good student. Time for you to study things. Now, the sun has moved in a different part of the sidereal part of Leo. You know, it's in this place called um, Purva Falguni. And it's like about the best of everything. And yeah, so in Western Virgos, think about this. The best of everything. There's, um, while you're helping other people, Aries, realize that some of the places to help people with are entertainment, rest, rejuvenation, relaxation, recreation, that this is actually a healing vibe too. This is another source of healing. If people don't sleep enough, like I've heard that six hours isn't enough sleep for people. And that it's when I read an article where it's almost as good as no sleep. I was like, wow, I've had days like that where I only slept six hours and I woke up and I was like, oh, that was not enough. If I do a little over seven, I'm like, usually, boom, okay, bam, I'm great. It's like, that's amazing how that one hour made that huge amount of difference. But that's part of it, you know. So you have to take care of your health. You know, you have to make sure you're not getting burnt out from all of this action, all this activity. You know, Virgo is about hard work. And even if it's in Sidereal Leo, it's still about, you know, it's about this effort. It's about this Dharma. It's about this boom, taking it on, getting on your path, moving forward, doing it. You know, that's, that's what's going on right now. And um, you're making really strong strident effort. And Mars does really well in the sixth house. So it's like, one of my um, Vedic Sidereal astrology teachers, a guy named Jeffrey Armstrong, and um, he calls the sixth house the gymnasium. So this is where most of the action is right now in your chart. So, you know, it's you're giving yourself a workout. But it's also, the sixth house is also about cooperating with others. And sometimes it can be people that don't like you. You know, co-workers that are like, eh, not them, you know. It doesn't, be kind, you know, keep your peace. Don't, you know, don't openly or even in your mental vibe indicate hostility you know meditate you know God lives in the praises of his people just be grateful for the good stuff and you'll move forward with that okay so oh. hmm. greetings Taurus and welcome to your horoscope so what do we got here well like I said before if you're a Taurus born in April in the Western Zodiac, Tropical Zodiac, things are really unpredictable right now. And so there's a lot of things are up in the air and shocking and crazy. Um, but like mostly you're in your heart. It's like this is could be one of the most creative, wonderful um, periods of life for you. So you're going to be in a really wonderful and creative place. And things are going to get better. Your heart's going to be open, and um, you got good information. You're learning well. People love you. You feel stable. It's a good time for travel and vacation, so go ahead and enjoy yourself, Marn. Go ahead and enjoy yourself this week on a little vacation, and um, you know, and uh, you know, make sure you clean up from Burning Man. Everybody who's gone to Burning Man, clean up. Clean up that stuff. <laughs> is this is this the tail end of? No, yeah, no. Last week was Labor Day. Okay. Well, anyhow, there's people still cleaning up. <laughs> and um, transformation. I mean, this weekend lay low, but actually the weekend looks good for going away. Actually, travel because Moon will be in Capricorn tomorrow, and you'll be like, you'll be just digging it. You're gonna be digging the vibe. So it's all good for Taurus this weekend. <laughs> 